I was really surprised by this game because I've played several of these and I haven't really thought any of them were like the something I'd recommend Nicole. to people. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Like, let's see, which, which ones have I played? I played some of Sherlock Holmes Jack the Ripper. I played some of Sherlock Holmes Nemesis. Uh, I think I, my mother played the first one that was just kind of like a point click adventure game in a very literal sense. Uh, and I watched her play it because that's what I did when I was like 13, 12. What is I didn't play adventure games myself. I just sat down and tried to oh, solve puzzles okay. with Oh, okay. We've got one of these things. Yeah, so. I, I, these I'm are not quite finished. I don't think I'm f I've finished with this room yet, so let me. Probably not, no. So those are data points, right? The and yeah. of a spell. there's. A very interesting mechanic that I think is kind of the linchpin of what people should be expanding on. Like, that's like the keystone that is, I think, a, 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 something people can use to build, this place like, is not covered with dust. mystery the games with different ship. scopes and maybe refine... Was taken from here. It was larger than a book. Box that that didn't really I didn't I didn't manage to assemble that properly. I put that sentence together like it was written on a tobacco leaf that had been shredded on a mariner's <laughs> desk. <laughs> Hammerfest. Dundee. It's a whaling map. Oh yeah, Hammerfest. You stoked for next year? Oh yeah, this, uh, who can forget Hammerfest? The the sea unicorn. She the, was the ship amazing commanded. whaling convention? I was thinking it was probably a Viking medical, metal festival. Yeah, up in the, in the north of Norway. In the north of Norway. See, I've got this like question mark on these things, but it's not oh, use, uh, use focus. like the rest. Use focus. Peter Carey was her captain. Nothing's happening. Oh, well, in that case, uh, it might just be that there's a something we need to come back to, or that there'll be like yeah, a, an item we find later. Right, let's, let's take a look at deductions. Um, Are you going to itemize them? Breaking attempts. Uh, tax season. So yeah, the, uh, there's the data points, and okay. then there's... So this is basically your, like, conducting the investigation screen. Was here so they you don't need to worry, you can't really make bad choices most of the time on that screen. Mostly it's just like a ca case of, like, what thing comes next. Uh, and it's mo least creative and interesting usages i still think it's a very interesting way of like sort of communicating sherlock holmes chain of thought like okay i've done this what's the next step in my investigation but uh yeah it doesn't it, there's also it doesn't seem like there's any like way to pin these other three together that makes sense so like the the break-in attempts yes. and the notebook is the the thing that, like clearly so let's yeah make an ambush so yeah, you connect data points. Now, connecting data points is objective. If two data points belong together. Uh, you connect them, they're connected. Um, the, there's no wrong way to do that. But once you have data points connected, you can use them to start drawing conclusions. And conclusions aren't objective. Or rather, they are objective, but you don't always get them right. Ah, uh, interesting. So, so you can get the case wrong... Yes, exactly. You could you could fuck these cases up. Uh, basically, you gather the evidence as best as you can and try to put it together. And as you start like making assumptions, now it's not like you you make a bad choice and you can't go back and fix it in the sense of like you have to get every deduction right on the first try. But basically, there'll become a point where it's yeah. time to turn in the case. And when that happens, it'll check your answers. And if you, like, have certain deductions in place, then certain other pathways will close off because they're impossible now. Or certain, like, new possibilities will come up that you have to choose between. That's, I think, the most interesting part of this game. Can I go in here? No. Yeah, we'll see it. We'll see it in action a little bit in this chapter, and then it really comes to the fore in the next chapter, which doesn't fuck around at all and has a lot of different possibilities. See if there's anything else to talk to the wife with. Is this your husband's yes. tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be that he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Hmm, so... Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? 
There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. So every Sherlock Holmes like game or Sherlock Holmes style game or even just like Thank you, RPG uh, comes to a point where they have kind of like a kind of a catch twenty two of how do you let players feel like they're actually making crazy Sherlock Holmes style deductions, despite the fact that crazy Sherlock Holmes style deductions are possible. So let's kind of um recap what we've got here. Um, their footprints going to the uh, building where Peter Carey was murdered. They don't match his boots. Um, in the building, we found uh, two glasses at the table, which could suggest uh, two people drinking, um, and a tobacco pouch that probably isn't his, because he hasn't smoked for a while. He's missing his important papers on the shelf, and he's been impaled to the wall with a harpoon in such a way that only a very large, strong person could have done. So, what you're saying is we're like 80% certain this wasn't suicide. No, nah, this, this is like, I'm at least 50-50 on the suicide thing. Mr. Holmes? We, we've largely ruled out Peter Carey as a suspect of Peter <laughs> Carey's murder. <laughs> well, Mr. We know it wasn't an act of think? God. No, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. So, as I was saying, Something like uh, they do. weirdly jerky going on with the camera right and the, the facial movements uh -huh. in cutscenes. So what do you propose? We shall remain anyway, on the outside. Uh, there's a thing with Sherlock Holmes where you want to make people feel like they're actually well, coming up with Sherlock Holmes style deductions. Like where you're taking little bits of evidence and you're making great guesses right. based on them. But that's impossible because you can't do that because Sherlock Holmes is, isn't a real thing that a person can be. Uh, yeah. So what this game does is how this game chooses to handle it often is when you're doing a discussion like we had with the lady, you ask a question. Uh, like Sherlock Holmes makes some kinds of weird inference and she's like, how do you know that? And then you have to pick like the data point you discovered, which to you like is the thing that would make that inference possible. So it's kind of like, yeah, that's it like doesn't Ace Attorney. force you. Yeah. Like Ace Phoenix Attorney. The same way. Yeah. I, I just think that's like, it's not like an original way of handling it. Like that that's done in a lot of cases, but like, it's not that's an elegant either. way. Because I, I think sometimes, like, it, like, it's hard to have one specific thing to infer to. Like, especially in Phoenix Wright, where it's like an object. Yeah. You have to select this game, the thing. This game does a great oh, job with it. Uh, I got to the end of the game, and I literally, like, I think I got the achievement. I didn't get any of them wrong. I guessed the correct object every time. Ooh. I, I, I also was lucky enough to get all of the uh, the case answers correct, which I would have felt really bad if that was not true. Like, I, I'm not 100% sure how it works, although we might find out. <laughs> we'll see, this I guess. Like the but hiding place. that's the thing about Sherlock Holmes, is that everyone absolutely 100% believes what he says. So, kind of the implication is, if you point the finger at somebody and they get hanged, and maybe you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, there's also an interesting way of handling that too. So we'll 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 see. Shh. Did you? Yeah, this game sort of does a good job of remembering not just that Sherlock Holmes is a guy who solves crimes, but also that Sherlock Holmes is a guy who believes that he is the judge of humanity is someone there and for handling that call. in a way that's be interesting right and empowering to the player but not obnoxious Police. like Police. kind of the moffat version of sherlock yeah sherlock oh. cannot escape trees hot pursuit mr holmes come and see what we all right my fine fellow who are you, and what are you doing here? 
You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you, I'm innocent. Innocent? This man is rather What are well you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here, waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... That Do you deny the... that you came here yesterday? No, but... On the but I, yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to this you. This does Mr. seem rather easy for a you Sherlock well Holmes case. Better. But please don't be yeah. too hard on our young Yeah, Holmes isn't just going to be like, to well, tomorrow. I guess the notebook full of weird numbers was nothing. <laughs> just throw them to the judge. And here we kind of see, like, some early inklings of this game's like political themes so this guy yeah we caught him in the shed and Lestrade is basically like we're gonna have this guy before the judge tomorrow like this this case closed he was at a crime scene done good enough for me he's dead <laughs> and he sort of realized that yeah if Sherlock Holmes was not here that's probably exactly what would happen So, this is maybe a dumb question, but like, well, this part isn't dumb. When was this game released? Uh, a couple years 20, ago. 14, 2015, something like that? That's, that I think the latest right. one was uh, 2016, so... Mr. Holmes? Uh, it was released 2014, yeah. It's fascinating because it's sort of a mid-budget mid title, and those don't really exist so much morning, anymore, especially Holmes, outside of the sort of indie art game scene. Morning, and uh, I would like to speak to the fellow who was most Sherlock games that I'm aware of that are aiming at a non-gaming audience tend to be like hidden object title games, like very squarely aired at, aimed at being, it could be a phone game or a tablet game or a Steam game, it doesn't matter, it's hidden objects, find the stuff to solve the crime. And this is very much more about simulating those discoveries and those wild connections that Sherlock Holmes can make. And I'm trying yeah, to figure out who this was made for. Because, the like, belongings. it's way more systems-driven than what you would expect something for a casual audience to get. Oh, yeah, this this game is not intended for a the casual audience in the same sense as, like, a hidden object game. Uh, the easy answer is it was intended for fans of the Sherlock Holmes franchise by Frogwares, uh, because they've been making these games since 2002. Ah, the one ring. Have they really? Holy crap. Is, is it like one yeah. of those titles that's like really big in, in Europe or some other region? I don't think so. I think it's the type of... Okay, so the thing is, like... Remember, I, this may be, not be a thing that, like, you're super conscious of, or that even I think a, a lot of people are, but I've mentioned it before. Uh, in the 2000s, and, like, from the late 90s to the 2000s, there was a whole, like, pocket genre of video gaming that was completely 100% ignored by gaming press. Which was, like, Mist came out, like, everybody played Mist, not just, like, gamers played Mist. Gamers was not a thing that meaningfully existed. There was like Roberta Williams games. And then people sort of figured that that genre died. But the reality is that it actually didn't. Like there are still plenty of studios that you've never heard of making games that you've never heard of that were like third person, 3D against a 2D background or eventually 3D against a 3D background games starring a, a protagonist, often like a, a female detective protagonist, going around examining uh, an area and, like, picking up objects and Locked. solving puzzles. And that was kind of, like, where this franchise got its start. Like, the early games were point-and-click adventure games. And I think that as they sort of kept their following and as they expanded a little bit, they discovered that there was an audience Feel for like adding a little bit more mystery-oriented gameplay. And I think that this game in particular is kind of like... So I played the previous games like Sherlock Holmes versus Arsene Lupin, Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper, and they were much more adventure gamey, where you're like finding objects and using them. 
this game, I think, is th them re trying to like break out of that and see how people like it. I think it also helps that the studio is uh, headquartered in Kiev, so they can they, they probably have like lower operating costs than uh, it would take to make this game in, for example. Australia for nine billion dollars. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes, but where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no, I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Having, like, watching this, this ominous. Was yeah. found watching this gameplay well. after Tell watching, me, like, Did L.A. Noir clips, really, like, you feel a relief you. every time you come to the end of a sent, like, a, a, your subject comes to the end of a sentence, and you don't have to arbitrarily decide if they're telling the truth, the police stretching the truth, or outright lying right there Who's on the spot for keeps. I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the See, true like that was a pretty straightforward case. Like, you yeah, know, you, you, you use what you know about the item to uh, answer his Sherlock Holmes deduction. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made yeah, of... Yeah, see, again, like, it wasn't easy. You had to kind of think about the evidence a little bit, but you could put it together. To be, to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Hmm. So. So one Very thing swift that actions. Hmm. No, go ahead. Help, help, Josh, real quick. You right, Josh? No, I'm good. I think I got something. Oh. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to Hey Watson, would you stand here while I throw a harpoon at you? <laughs> I mean, that's basically how this game began. Alright, Chris, what were you saying? Oh, I was just thinking about how, like, this game and to some extent the uh, Moffat TV show has all these free associations of known facts. But but one of the things that always defines um, Holmes is sort of like educated guess that could be wrong, and and I, I wonder how you would systemize that in a game like this. Right, well, that's, like you just that's said. kind of over. Oh. Is there a reason for me to not like mash all of these things together until not I see? Really, no. You can no, okay. you can just go for it. It's just annoying. It's just a pain in the ass, is all. Well. Yeah. This this is an example of something that I think a game could probably improve on, is you know figure out ways to not make you do that for all of those deductions, or you know to make it so that like there's a little bit more intelligence. Yeah. That goes in. I don't see anything else here that could be reasonably connected. 
I mean, I think it's reasonable. It's not supposed to be like a challenge you can pass or fail, but you're also supposed to think right. about it. So like, you know, it's it's it, it's fine. Yeah, you should do brute Okay, uh, he mentioned the archives with the ring, so maybe he knows who this person's father is. Yeah. You mentioned systemizing sort of educated guesses that could be wrong. Um, I'll be interested to see what you think about the mechanic I was talking about earlier, Chris, because I think that to an extent this game does allow that kind of educated abduction, but that isn't like certain, but that is like probable. Those newspapers are very close to the fire. <laughs> this whole place is a fucking powder keg. I mean, he shoots a gun blindfolded. Yeah, that is true. This, this is the thing I like. So th this game has lots of different categories of research material. Um, and in later cases, when we want to find something, we'll have to like pick what reference shelf to look at, and then we'll have to like choose from a bunch of different titles that we own. It feels vaguely like actually researching something. Nelligan escaped aboard a yacht for Norway. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story. Here it is. But I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. What's this? That's what you just looked at. Oh, yeah, in the prof character profile. Bunch of swords. Yep. One of which is, is very out of place with the others. Oh, look to the right of the window. To the right of this window here? Yeah. Over there, um... By Watson. What am I looking for specifically? Oh, is it is it not there? Hmm. I thought it was somewhere. I I don't remember exactly where it is. That's okay. We'll we'll, we'll we'll probably spot it incidentally sooner or later. It's not worth taking a bunch of time to hunt Brave for. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Am I still peeping? <laughs> Just standing there at the window. <laughs> Just pretty much standing there 24-7. I no, you say you're peeping at her. She's peeping at you. Wailing, Watson. She's I was gonna say, she's I'm like, she's there. up to some Are you serious? Wouldn't you though? No. But we do need yeah, to like Sherlock across Holmes? the way from like Sherlock Holmes. Peter's murder. You're like, why do you keep spying on me? He's like, yesterday I mean, you were shooting at your many gunshots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like, I thought <laughs> this was it. Attempted to defend himself? It is. You're possible. finally gonna kill him. But if that is the case, then one time you came in thing. carrying a cartoon bomb I over your head, running around me, my friend, what is with your pants on fire. Man, that was for a case. I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pigs' throats? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. <laughs> Right into that one, no. Watson. Watson, let us pay a visit. I mean, Watson, if we're not going to impale a pig, then we need a human volunteer. I don't see anybody else around. And the harpoon? <laughs> Watson, round up the Baker Street Irregulars. <laughs> I have a shiny sixpence to whatever wave will be run through by thy harpoon. <laughs>